Hi guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTie Photography. I am excited to edit this image with you with the Tiny Dancer collection. This picture was taken in Colorado. You can see that we had a little bit of a storm coming in. It was shot on my Canon R6, 50 millimeter, and I stayed between 1.2 and 2.0, just depending on here. I think on this image, it was about 1.6. So for this, the first thing I'm gonna come to is the foundational prep work. For this one, um, going through it, honestly, I, I, there was quite a few I liked on it. What I liked the best was actually combining two of them. So I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do the flamboyant color, lift the darks. And what I like about lift the darks is it's gonna lift the blacks up a little bit with it, as well as give the color that the other ones give. But I like, like the, her hair and stuff is a bit dark, so lifting the dark is gonna kind of counterbalance that. So I'm gonna hit play. And that's perfect. It's a little bit bright for my taste, but the colors are what I want. So I'm just gonna lower it. Oh, I'm gonna lower it to like 60%. Then I'm gonna flatten it. And then I do wanna stack it with this one right here. And I think I'm going to do it as shot instead of lifting the darks because this one already lifted the darks. So I just want it as shot right now. And I like the tones it gives. And so this is going to give it a little bit more of a moodier feel. I just don't need it at 100%. So I'm going to lower it to about 50. And then I will flatten that. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to bring out my subjects in my background just a little bit more. And I'm going to come down here. I don't need them to be brought out quite like a ton just because they're already pretty bright, but I want them to stand out a little more. So I'm going to do illuminate subjects, play. Then I am going to lower that to about 50% right there. So that's before and that's after. And then flatten. I try to flatten between each one. The next one is a backlit background. It's just going to give a little more color. And I like that. I'm just going to also lower that one to about 50%. In each action, they're kind of brightening it up a little bit each time. I'm not that worried about it, though, because I'm about to dodge and burn, which is going to bring that richness back. So we're going to flatten this. And then we're going to go to darken, then dodge. And this is how I dodge and burn. So when I hit play, you're going to notice it brings a ton of richness back into the photo. I'm going to get a black brush. Lower my size. My hardness is always at zero. If you have it up to 100, you'll get like a perfect demarcated circle. So I always do it at zero. And then I usually keep my opacity anywhere between 35 and 45%. And for this, I think I'll just do 40 don't bring it down a little more and I'm going to take it off of any of the highlights that I see where I want my viewers eyes to go and I'm going to shape light with it so right now I'm just if I do their face I do their neck always otherwise it looks a little funny if you do one and not the other go down his shirt her arm creases of her dress a little bit where I can see the highlight on mom's dress the highlight on the skirt here on his face And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller to go over the arms. So I can see the highlights on the arms here. So I'm just going to go over those highlights. A little more on mom's face. A little more in the highlights on dad's arms and shirt. And then the little boy, of course, too. Perfect. So basically you're following the creases where the highlights are and then there's not like a ton of light in this photo so it's not like I'm going to go and shape any sun but just shaping them and if, if I wanted to I could erase maybe a little bit off the background. I kind of like it as is though but that's how I dodge and burn right there. Maybe a little more right here. There we go. And then I like it. I just don't want it at 100% because it looks a little too fake. So all your brush work is right here. I'm going to grab the opacity, drop it to zero, and I'm going to slowly pull it up to where I like it, which I like it pretty strong. So like 68%. So this is before and this is after. And then I'm going to flatten that. And then what I think I want to do is, and it's, and honestly, this is just me being picky, 
but I want to take care of any color casting that's going on. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to the prohibit the purples and hit play. And I'm going to go ahead and rub this all over the skies. I'll make this to 100%. Ooh, that's a really big brush. And just get rid of it off the skies, the purples. And maybe even tap her shirt. I can flatten that. And the next thing I want to do is bounce the blues and play. And that's because the little girl, and it is very hard to see, but the little girl's shirt and hat is just color casting some blues. So just by tapping that, it pulls the blue out of it. And then I'll also flatten that. Perfect. Then I'm going to come down here. I'll come back to minimalistic color pops, but I'm going to go down to the artistic color greening and I'm going to do I Want Love. Play. And it gives a little bit of like a warmer matte that I really like. But again, I just, I don't use a lot of these at 100%. I like to stack them. So I'm going to use this one at around 40 to 50%. So I'll lower that. Right there is good. Before and after. Then I will come up and flatten. And then the next one I want to play is I'm Still Standing. And I'll hit play. And again, it, it adds a little more warmth, which I'm not worried about. I'm going to cool it down. But what I'm looking for is I like what it's doing to the skin tones. I like what it's doing to the overall image. And I'm going to lower this down a lot more just to like 30% there. So that's before and that's after. We'll flatten that. And then the next thing we're going to do is go to minimalistic color pops. And one of my favorites, especially if I want a cooler, moodier look, is faded denim. And you can see it definitely made everything a little bit cooler, a little bit moodier. And I'm just going to lower the opacity of that as well. That one, I'm just going to lower it to about 50%. And we're going to go flatten this section and hit play. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here and I am going to cool it down. I'm going to hit cooler with the plus three and hit play. And the reason I'm doing that is since the storm was coming in, it made a little more sense for this to be a little cooler. I just don't want it so cool on the subjects. So I'm going to get a brush, a small brush. I'm going to lower the opacity like 45% and I'm just going to brush it off of them some. And this is just a personal preference. If you want to brush a lot off, you can keep them warmer. If you want to brush less off, you can. It's just whatever makes sense to you. And I'm brushing over it one more time because I want to look them a little warmer. So this is before and this is after. I like that a whole bunch more. I think I'll just lower it a little bit to like 80. This is before. This is after. And then I will flatten that. And then I'm going to keep coming down here. And I'm going to play one of my favorites. I'm obsessed with this section right here. Satiny Clean is going to give everything a nice, rich, kind of creamy look to it. I'm going to hit play. And you can see just how much creamier that is how rich that is and I do like it on them I just don't want them too soft so again at 46% I'm just going to erase it off them some that way they don't get too soft perfect so that's before and that's after then I'll come up and flatten it again And then let's go down to, let's go to highlight pop. This is going to make your highlights really stand out and hit play. I am obsessed with this one. So this is before, this is after. I feel like this really gives your image a big pop. We'll come back up and I'll flatten it. And then let's see, the only other thing I'm thinking of, this is 
me being picky again is I really want to kind of show off that sky just that it's a little bit dark there's a couple ways to do it each one is different strengths there's like minor fall that'll pull it down and you can paint it on there but I kind of think I just want to dodge and darken one more time but for me I'm going to command I and invert it grab a white brush lower this down to like 35 percent a little bit bigger brush Oops, even bigger. And I'm just going to paint it on the sky a couple times until I get it where I want it. And that'll darken the sky without just having to darken the whole thing. I might even darken down here just a tiny bit. Then I will flatten this. And then I would call this good. I love this. Um, let me come up here so I can show you the before and after. Boop. So this is before. Oh, I love it. And this is after. Before. After. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a bunch with this. If you want any more information on Tiny Dancer Collection, please go to www.greaterthangodspeak.com. Thank you.